weapon, please. No weapon. <laughs> As many of you know, I love fishing. That's one of my passions. I enjoy it a lot. Before I start my speech, I'd like to give you a little story, or just share with you a little story about an anecdote that happened to me maybe a few weeks ago, about three or four weeks ago. I researched on this fish, which is called tarpon, maybe Joe knows about that big fish. I love that fish. It's, it's, a, it's a fun fish to catch, to release, to see. It's a beautiful fish. I did some, a lot of research, a lot of research. I went online, blogs, trying to find places. I will drive to places to see if they were there. And I happened to see one night that they were right in front of my office, right in front of my office. There's a little canal that runs there, and they're there. They swim there. They lurk around a little bit. I did everything I could to try to catch it. One day, I go there thinking I did everything as I was supposed to do as a good fisherman. I hook that fish. I start fighting with him. He fights with me. I see him jumping off the water. Then I got him. This is a dreaming, a dream coming through, right in front of my eyes. I was in awe. I was unbelievable feeling. A few minutes fighting with it, I lose it. It's gone. What happened? So I started thinking and remembering about my old boss. He told me once, you know, a good fisherman does 90% of the job right. Goes to the place, does the research, goes after the fish, gets the right bait, does everything, but forgets 10% of a successful fisherman always does, always does, which is tying knots. Fellow Toastmasters, most welcome guests, Madame Toastmaster of the night. My speech tonight is very quick and simple, gets to the point. I want to teach you two fishing knots. If you ever find yourself out fishing, please do these knots right. <laughs> <laughs> so we start with the clinch, clinch knot. Very useful knot, very straightforward. So, this is your line, this is your hook. For safety reasons, I'm using this as a hook. All right? <laughs> All you're going to do is thread it through the loop like that. You're going to cross the tag end part with the stand, a standing line. Just cross that and pinch it with your two fingers. Roll uh, it around three or four times and thread it. Pull the tag end with the standing end. Gently pull until you see that magic will happen. Wow. <laughs> a second. Bear with me. You should go right now. But I know it works. A couple tucks. Nice fish hook. The fish will not get loose after this. <laughs> <laughs> Another very useful knot is the palo or knot. Very straightforward, palo or knot. I'll pass this around. This is a clinch. <laughs> very easy. You just like tie your shoes. Double line your line like that. Just make a loop, big old loop. You want to make a thread, the hook and what is called that overhand knot. Curl it like that. Everybody's following it? Uh -huh. There we are. <laughs> okay, so the hook goes through the big loop. Make that as you have it. Work your line very nice and gentle. There's no rush. No rush. Because when it comes time to fight a good fish, you want to make sure this works. <laughs> Right, Joe? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Once it's all in a good place, good order, get a good tuck. It's not. I'm right there. There's a palomar knot. Very strong. This knot is very useful. 
it will not weaken the line, it will not break the line, the line will break first before the knot breaks itself. So there's a north, very nice knot. And if you make sure, make sure you're in the right place, find your fish, do a lot of research, have fun, but make sure put that 10% before, or I mean after your 90%, and make sure you go fishing and have fun. Adam Toastmaster.